A home in Royal Oak erupts in flames in the middle of the night, killing a 72 year old homeowner inside. Germont Terry is live at the scene near 11 Mile and 75. Germont, do investigators believe that weather was a factor in starting this fire? Rod, it doesn't appear right now that weather played a factor in this, but I can tell you that investigators don't know exactly what, how this house caught fire. Now take a look behind me. You can see the damage. What is clear tonight, people on this block are in disbelief that their loving neighbor died in the home she spent nearly 30 years taking care of. Neighbors living on Minerva just off 11 Mile woke up to an orange glow on the block fire crews were battling an intense house fire in the early morning hours. It, it, it was a terrible thing to sit and watch. Rick Gill held out hope his elderly neighbor of nearly 30 years had made it out safely. The policeman told me that she didn't get out, so it was, uh, it's been a sad day on the block. Gill and other neighbors tell me the woman lived alone. Despite being 72, she still went to work at the courthouse in downtown Detroit. We always pitched in and helped her out and everything from unloading her groceries to, you know, shoveling her driveway. He wishes there was something he and others could have done this morning. And, you know, if it had been during the day and people would have been around or seen it, that anybody would have saw a whisper of the smoke, people would have been knocking her door down to come on in and, and, and help her make sure she got out. The fire department says the intense smoke and flames made entry into the house difficult. It appears the fire started in the back of the house. Tonight, the torch shell is a constant reminder of the life ripped away and the huge void on this tight-knit block. It's been hard for everybody today to, to have to deal with it. It's, it's an ache in your stomach. And throughout the day, we've seen people just stopping by, looking at the house, just shaking their heads in disbelief. When we talk about this being a very tight-knit block, it is truly just that. We're told that the 72-year-old, every time they had a block party, despite having no children and she lived alone, she came out and really mingled with the neighbors and especially the young children. Neighbors on this block tell me they will truly miss that part of her as well. Reporting live in Royal Oak, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Well, Jermont, uh, clearly she was a very popular lady there. Do we know about any other injuries or damages in this fire? Rod, thankfully no one else was injured, but if you take a look over my shoulder, you saw those flames. They were so intense, they got to the house next door. That top portion and the side panel is now boarded up, but the people inside that house were not hurt. Of course, they can live in their home tonight. It's just trying to figure out for investigators how this fire started. That's the big question that's still looming tonight. All right. Thank you very much, Jermont. We'll certainly look forward to the update on that.